Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Anisa Kapadia and I practice rheumatology in Bombay. Today we're going to talk about ankylosing spondylitis. This is a condition which often affects young men, especially below the age of 45. However, more and more we do know that women get affected as well and are in fact often underdiagnosed. Sometimes men present in their 50s or 60s having had the back pain for many years at a time. What is ankylosing spondylitis? So ankylosing the word actually means to fuse and spondylitis means inflammation in your spine but this can also mean in the ligaments around your spine. This term was obviously coined at a time when there wasn't any treatment option. As a, resu as a result of this, most men often had fused spines. This term is now being used less frequently because we have actually a lot of treatment options now and most men do not have to see their spines getting fused. Patients have commonly what is known as back pain, but back pain is one of the most common symptoms out there. So how do you distinguish what back pain is inflammatory and what is not? Back pain that is worse at night should raise alarms. Back pain that causes you to get up in the middle of the night, especially at about 2 to 3 a.m. is significant. This back pain can make you uneasy at night and it's often difficult to turn in the bed. This is a very typical symptom of ankylosing spondylitis. Morning stiffness is often a prominent feature where it is difficult to get going in the morning. Sometimes you may have fatigue or tiredness as well as weight loss and fever when the uh, symptoms are severe. This is often, these symptoms are often diagnosed very well clinically but an x-ray or an MRI may be needed to clinch the diagnosis. Blood tests including inflammatory markers may be done and there are lots and lots of treatments importantly. Earlier we had only what we called non-steroidal anti-inflammatories. These days there are excellent new drugs which can prevent the progression to ankylosing and we therefore use this term less often, we now call it axial spondyloarthritis. Exercise remains a very important, very important treatment and this must be included in one's day-to-day -day lifestyle. Exercise may be a gym workout which includes cardio fitness or it in includes resistance training using the machines that are present in most gyms.